This was one of those projects that we've been meaning to do for the last two years since we moved in and now it's finally getting done. Just like all the other DIY projects, we hope it's going to take a certain amount of time and it takes two to three times longer, but in the end it was done and we now have a very, very beautiful functioning downstairs toilet. So I wanted to show you the whole process from start to finish of making the whole thing actually look nice and be functional. installed the frame I wanted a hung toilet I also wanted something that had a much smaller system and then a corner sink just to try and use the space a little bit more efficiently there was still so much stuff that we needed to do in between so he came put in the frame and then we needed to cover up the pipes remove that awful laminates that take off some of the asbestos tiles which were already loose and then tile the whole thing with these really beautiful wooden effect tiles that I bought last year and I've been saving them for this project because I knew we would use them eventually my husband likes doing the tiling but he hates doing the grouting and I like doing the grouting so I did the grouting and that's pretty much how we did the whole project. One of the trickier parts of the project was marking out exactly where we would have to cut the board so that things like the supports for the pan and then also the plumbing were going to go and this needed to be as exact as possible. So what we did is we took some blue tack and we put them over the bars and the pipes because they were at different depths. The little bars here were sticking out a little bit more. So I marked those first, it's just blue tack and permanent marker over that. And then we just pressed the board that we were going to use as a template onto it and then it left the mark and then we did it again afterwards once we'd cut those holes onto the board double check that it fits and then did the same trick with the blue tack and the permanent marker on the pipes which were a little bit further back And this point is a massive jump. This was quite a few days afterwards, after my husband had done the woodwork, put the wood over the frame, waxed things, sanded things, waxed them again, made a lid so that we could still access the cistern. And it was just overall a monumental project and I had absolutely nothing to do with this part of it. Yeah. 
with all the woodwork done, now we needed to make sure that everything was waterproof, so the sink got sealed. And this was the experimental part. So we got a big oh, wow. brass sheet and we were going to use that as the backsplash, but we needed to custom cut it, make it so that it fit exactly. And some parts of that weren't too difficult. That little part at the very back was just a rectangle. But then the next part is we needed to figure out the shape. We could either have a curved corner like this, or we could try and do something which mimicked the shape of the sink a little bit more, which would have two corners. And in the end, that's the shape that we decided to go for. I thought it looked so much better. I love how it mimicked the sink shape. So that's what we decided to do. sealed the wood underneath made waterproof and everything cut to the right shape it was stuck down and then sealed again over the top this part was incredibly fiddly and it was made even more fiddly because I didn't think it through and I installed the tap and that did make it a little bit more difficult but it was doable it just took a bit more time than it would have if I hadn't had the tap in my way The toilet got finished yesterday and I wanted to wait until this morning to show you what it looked like and um, yeah it's not finished there's still details to finish I still need to um, make a new door for it or buy it we're probably gonna make it just because it works out so much cheaper and it's a very simple door to make it's just those cottage style doors that I really like that it's just made of solid wood and they just look beautiful there's loads of little details I still need to paint the wall I still need to put sealant around the uh, flush button um, I still need to get hand towels that are kind of specific for the downstairs toilet. Um, I still need to age the brass at the moment. It's that very new brass color where it's quite golden um, and I want it to look a little bit more aged. Um, so there's still loads of little details to do, but it's a functioning toilet and it's a hundred times better. So I'm gonna show you. So this is the new floating downstairs toilet and I'm in love. As you can see there isn't yet a loo roll holder. I am going to get one. I'm going to get a really nice one that looks like it was um, the traditional Victorian cast iron style ones that you would find in Paddington. They're really beautiful and that's going to go on the door here so that it's nice and close to you. You don't have to do any kind of weird contortions to try and reach the loo paper if you need it. And this is one of the things that I love. The light when it comes out of that window and it hits the brass and it just makes the whole room so beautiful and even once it's aged it's still going to have a very very similar effect that it'll just fill the whole room up with light. I've still got to paint the walls white as you can see that is patchy as hell and that needs to be painted over. I like the green but having green on both sides was a mistake because it makes the whole room kind of shrink in. This, I need to paint a fern pattern on it. I need to paint over it again, just to neaten it up because it's been a little bit damaged. I need to paint that part up there green. I need to strip the paint off the shelf to expose the wood, varnish it, paint the ferns on the green part of the wall. But, oh, I'm just, I'm just so happy with it. It's lovely. I was a bit worried about this because it was a bit of a risk and buying a sheet of brass um, isn't the cheapest thing to do. But with everything in this house, we're trying to take the approach of do it once, do it well, don't cheap out and stuff because you pay for it in the long run. Um, yeah, I like a bargain, but I don't like a bargain I have to replace six times. So I am very, very happy with how that turned out. It just looks so, so nice. I'm going to add a little shelf on the inside of this so I can add little things like cotton buds, um, all the various little bits and bobs that would be quite useful to have in a downstairs toilet. I'm also going to add a very small shelf here so that I can have a mirror. Um, I have a round mirror that came with a house that I've been saving for exactly that. I'm also going to try and replace this. It's old and manky and it's black where people have grabbed it for the last 50 years and that's disgusting so I want to replace it. But overall the downstairs toilet is done. Potato is very happy with it and I'm a 
doing everything I can to make sure he can't get anywhere near the bidet. So when it's not in use, it's off. I'm hoping he doesn't figure out how to turn it on. Yeah, now we have a bidet downstairs and upstairs and it's oddly made my life a hundred times better. So yeah, <laughs> this is what the downstairs toilet looks like. It's beautiful, it's easy to clean. It's still got a bit more work to do, but all the basics are there and I am so, so happy with it. If you like my content and want to follow me on Patreon, that's where you can find my early content, extra content and see the thought process behind things like my books, cover designs, videos and artwork. You can also find me on Instagram but the best place to follow me and make sure that all my new content is sent directly to you is through my website and the mailing list. On the top right hand corner you put your name, the email you want your new content to be sent to and that's it, you're done.